Hi, I'm Chelsea Vale of Barsky Vale Designs, creators of the Wombi Med Pods. I'd like to thank you for expressing interest in learning about Wombi Med Pods and how they might benefit the patient population at your hospital. Wombi Med Pods were designed by a nurse, Karen Barsky, and myself, a child life specialist. Karen and I both are very passionate about swaddling, especially hospitalized infants who are often left um, without a caregiver to hold, feed, contain, and comfort an infant. Therefore, swaddling is even more important for the hospitalized patient population than even babies in the home. The Wombi Med Pod was designed to allow for range of motion in the shoulders and hips, something that a blanket or another swaddling device doesn't do. This swaddle pod keeps baby contained inside of the swaddle while allowing range of motion in shoulders and hips, as well as promoting flexion through the four-way stretch fabric. When a baby is moving in utero up against the mother, they are building the muscle tone similar to a butterfly coming out of a chrysalis. As the butterfly comes out of the chrysalis, they're getting a little bit stronger. If someone were to intervene and pull the butterfly out early, they wouldn't have the strength that they need to fly and therefore survive. And a human baby is not much different than that in the fact that when they are born prematurely, they're not quite strong enough. They're not as strong as they would have been had they had more time in utero. So what this does is it mimics the womb environment based on the shape and the four-way stretch fabric. Wombie Med Pods also have double zipper. This is very important because the lines, leads, drains, monitors um, can stay attached to the infant and the lines can come out of the top of the swaddle or out of the bottom of the swaddle. The double zipper is also really great for accessing the patient's diaper area. It's very easy to do a diaper change by simply unzipping the bottom, but also accessing the patient's foot. So an infant in the hospital, as you know, oftentimes has the ID bracelet attached to the ankle, but also has the pulse oximeter attached to the toe, and often has a central line, an IV, attached to the foot, and also, heel sticks are often done um, on an infant for blood draws. And so accessing the feet area without wrapping and unwrapping the infant several times is very important. And something that um, we wanted to avoid was over stimulating an infant and providing too much touch, if at all possible. So when an infant is swaddled, in the swaddle pod and you need to access the feet, it's very easy to simply unzip the bottom and pull the foot out for, um, for that procedure. Wombi Med Pods also each feature slits in the top of each one of our designs with the exception of the Billy Pod. And the side slits right here can be used for either more EKG leads central lines, um, Broviac lines for a small infant such as this, um, or some, some drains or tubes, um, perhaps for a post-op patient. We also have the Billy Pod. This is called the Billy Pod because this was designed specifically for the Billy baby population. This has been tested in a lab and shows 94% luminosity off of a subject versus when it's on a subject, it shows up to 96 or even 98% luminosity. If you look very closely, even the mesh is mesh and the full luminosity of the phototherapy lights is reaching the baby in the Billy Pod. The Billy Pod also has the double zipper, just like the others. The Billy Baby population, in our opinion, is a very underserved population when it comes to psychosocial care. This is um, a 60 to 80% um, patient population does end up either being admitted into a NICU or admitted to um, having the phototherapy treatment, but also they might be readmitted. So they may go home and they come back and they're readmitted for jaundice. And a lot of hospitals are spending um, what we consider to be very obscene amounts of money readmitting those babies. But the Billy Pod treatment or the Billy P treatment can be done at home and baby can be swaddled securely in a Billy Pod and be receiving their phototherapy treatment through a Billy blanket or a Billy light or some of the other Billy devices that are out on the market. And parents will feel comfortable knowing that their baby is swaddled safely and securely in the Billy Pod, whether they are at home or in the hospital. So uh, we are recommending that pediatricians clinics have the Billy Pods and are recommending patients um, go home with these um, if they're doing their treatment at home. 
We also have a gastropod and the trach pod. The trach pod was designed specifically to allow room up here for trach babies on the respiratory units, newborn up to three months, or even the 14 to 19 pound um, population, and allowing room for the trach to be um, accessed, suctioned very easily without unwrapping the baby or disturbing the baby any more than the trach suction already does. But it also fits low enough on the baby that the sternum is exposed. So if you have a post-operative cardiac patient that needs the sternum exposed for this area to be clean and dry and even visible to the nursing staff, the trach pod also allows that. I worked as a child life specialist on the hematology and oncology um, unit for the bulk of my career. And um, I did unfortunately see a lot of babies that are diagnosed with a blood disorder or a cancer, and they had a port or a broviac that needed to be accessed often. And in our trach pod, if you pull the side of the deep V neck, you can access the port or the broviac through um, that pod without unwrapping the baby. And because of where the slits are placed in our pods, the broviac lines can be weaved out of that top slit and the blood or the platelets or, or whatever it is that that patient is receiving simply can be um, you know, accessed without even unswaddling the baby or unhooking them. Um, all of our pods have passed OSHA standards for sanitation. They can be washed at high heats uh, without any change to the fabric, the color, the shape, or even the quality of the zippers or the snaps. All of our pods are um, designed to be either single patient or multi-patient use. So for some hospitals, they're recommending these pods go home with an infant for continuity of care. For those families that they feel might need a little bit of extra help at home for a baby who might not be sleeping as well, or perhaps that they might indulge in some unsafe sleep, unsafe sleep practices, the Wombi is recommended for safe sleep at home and the family can go home with this. Another benefit to the Wombi Med Pods from a child life specialist perspective is the fact that it does conceal medical equipment. So if I were using this at the hospital and perhaps I had a sibling visit, so uh, perhaps a three or a five year old that was coming to visit their brand new baby sister or baby brother for the first time, the Wombi Med Pod conceals all of that um, disconcerting equipment underneath the med pod and brother or sister can very safely and securely hold their new sibling without having to see something that might not be developmentally appropriate for that baby to see. We also recommend that Wombi med pods be used for procedural support. Now this is to be different than a papoose. I would never recommend a papoose board be used for an infant, um, you know, containing them in a way that felt unsafe or that they were um, being restrained. However, swaddling is um, a way of comforting an infant during a procedure such as an NG tube or perhaps a VCUG. If you were to swaddle that baby here, hands over heart, returning those hands back to midline, it provides comfort for them and you're able to access the area that you need to, or perhaps just hold the baby and comfort them during a procedure that might be uncomfortable. And so that's providing more developmental care and psychosocial care for that infant. Also, we recommend Wombi Med Pods be used from a palliative care standpoint. Uh, a lot of um, mothers find it very difficult that their baby's last moments of life they, um, their skin is sometimes um, discolored. They might be a little bit mottled or maybe blue in tone. And sometimes those babies as they're passing might be very swollen or have um, a lot of tubes and lines and monitors and um, things that a mother might not want to remember seeing her um, sweet baby as, as they pass or even a father, another caregiver. And Wombi Med Pods keep the baby swaddled in a way that is much more soothing um, and humane to, to see your baby um, passing in a device like this. So they are recommended for um, palliative care as well. And um, all of our information on all of our pods can be found at wombimedpods.com. And we encourage you to message us with any other questions or concerns that you might have at info at barskyvaledesigns.com or you can give us a call at one 833 med pods and we're happy to answer your questions again we thank you for taking an interest in learning about Wombi med pods and we would greatly appreciate you sharing this video with whoever is in charge of the purchasing at your hospital or perhaps your nurse manager or neonatologist that might see the benefit 
in providing a product that is um, very beneficial to a patient from a physical development standpoint, but also a psychosocial care benefit as well. Thank you again. We wish you luck. Happy swaddling.